Hello friends, uh, this is Vilas Patil here. Welcome to my tutorials. Today we learn how to program in Semantic Manager version 5.5 and uh, simulate the same. Today we are considering one uh, dual starter program that is direct online starter. It will consist of uh, two uh, inputs. One is for starting and one is for stopping and one output that can be considered as a motor in this uh, example. Uh, Close this wizard and go to file and click on new. Put the project name that is DOL and click OK. Now we have to configure the hardware first. So right click on the file here and click on insert new object. Here I will select uh, Sematic 300 station. Okay, now open this. In hardware, double click on this. Okay, uh, all these 300 400 semantic uh, PLC will come in a uh, rack type PLC models. So uh, we have to place one rack or rail, we can say it. Okay, in this rack, we have to place the CPU model and uh, input output models. Uh, for that we have to open this CPU 300 and here I will select a CPU 312 model and place on second rail which is dedicated for CPU controller one can be used for a power supply model and all okay next we have to take uh, input and output models so here select the SM300 there are many input analog input and analog digital input output models are there I will select a digital input digital output of 300 PLC and drag and drop on the rack first we can see here the digital IO models of uh, digital 16 inputs and digital 16 output of 24 volts and of a 0 0.5 ampere current rating drag it and drop on the rack Okay, now compile and save. After this, minimize the project and open the S7 and uh, double click on blocks and open this OB1 block, organization block. Okay, after double clicking, uh, it will uh, give the option to select the programming language here I will select a ladder and click on ok now the workplace will be appear here we can see the run normally open normally close contacts and uh, coil is there first of all I will take a normally open contact normally close and one output coil ok but when we trigger this input this contact the coil will be energized but when we release the signal will not flow from left side to right side because uh, this contact is normally open so in dual starter when you trigger the start button and release it will remain uh, in on state so we have to keep it in on state for that purpose we have to take one parallel contact across this parallel branch uh, sorry normally open contact and connect this to upward now i will take the Input and output address as i 0.0. .0. Next is i 0.1 q 0.0. Here, uh, this uh, parallel contacts address should be same as the output address. We can say it as a storage bit because when we trigger this input, the signal will flow from left side to right side and coil will be energized so this normally open contact will also get close and it creates a path uh, or bypass the signal from this contact to the coil and output will remain in on state continuously to break this path we have used one normally close contact here and we have to trigger this to break the path this is going to be open when we trigger this okay now uh, save the program Okay, minimize this one and 
click on the simulation on a button here in this simulation PL sim uh, there are uh, input bits, output bits, memory bits, timer, contact bits are all are there so after uh, opening this click on the ob1 and download the file okay now file is downloaded now click the plc to run mode set the cpu to run mode now you can see when i trigger input bit 0.0, .0 output is on even i release the input the output will remain in on set we can check status in ladder diagram also click on this monitor mode on off here you can see this is this uh, run this part of run become uh, dotted so it indicates that the signal is not passing from this run, this contact and passing from this output bit okay now when we trigger the input bit 1 i0.1 it becomes off okay this is a simple program for the dual starter and uh, thank you for watching and keep watching my videos and i'll keep uploading such videos of a uh, semantic manager and please subscribe to my channel if it is helpful to you okay thank you for watching